Hi, today we're going to talk about how sweet is my apple. Apples are a fun part of fall and an important ingredient in many of our favorite treats. Do you have a favorite apple? Have you ever wondered how sweet it is? Today we're going to explore one measure to measure sweetness in foods. When we're finished, you'll be able to measure how much sugar is in an apple and compare to how sweet it tastes. If you want to follow along, you'll need some things. A few apples, different kinds are best, a kitchen scale to weigh things, a bowl to collect juice, something to dice and juice, we use a food processor and a strainer, some water, and glucose measuring strips. In case you're missing any of these items, we've included some links below to make it easy to purchase. Once we have our equipment, we're going to learn three key things to help answer our question. We need to know how to make measurements. We need to understand solutions and how to dilute them. And three, we need to analyze our results and draw conclusions. Here's our plan. First, we're going to weigh our apple, and then we're going to juice it. As you go through each step, it's important to keep weighing what you're working with, like apple pieces or juice, as this will help in our calculations later. With our apple juice, we're going to use glucose strips to measure the sugar concentration. After we get a good measure, we're going to analyze and compare our results. Here is a demonstration of our procedure. First, we start by weighing the apple. We're using a kitchen scale. After we have a measure, we cut a few pieces to grind up for juicing and then weigh those. Once we have the pieces ground up, we can squeeze those to get as much juice out as we can. You can also use a juicer if you have one. Here we weigh the juice after tearing the bowl in case we need that value later. Once we have some juice to work with, we can use a glucose strip to measure how much is in the solution. Our strips ask us to measure after 30 seconds which shows that our sugar concentration is over 2%. This is off the scale, so we don't actually know how much sugar is in it. This is where we have to dilute our solution with water to bring the concentration within the measurement range. We start with 30 drops of water to 5 drops of juice. The exact number of drops isn't as important, then you keep track of how many you have added and write them down, as this will help us figure out how to adjust our glucose reading later. After diluting the juice, we see the reading is around 1% on our scale, which is something we can take to our analysis step. 
Here we take our measurements and apply them to our question. Since we had to do some dilution for the glucose scale, we have to apply those figures to answer our question. In our case, our measured solution included 27 drops of water to 3 drops of juice, which corresponds to a measured concentration of 1% on the strip. Applying the dilution indicates a sugar content of 10% for the apple, in this case a Honeycrisp. If we want to know how many grams of sugar is in this apple, we multiply that percentage by the apple weight, which in our case was 26 grams of sugar in this apple. Now that we've finished our calculations, we can apply some critical thinking to our results. Feel free to repeat the experiment for all the apples that you have on hand and compare them to the figures listed here. What we've got is a relative scale of sweetness for some common varieties with sweeter apples on the left, like Fuji, and tart apples on the right, like Granny Smith. Does this match up with your taste test? Why don't you take a bite of each one and see which one you think is sweeter? Why do you think certain apples taste sweeter than others? We've also looked up the sugar content of these common varieties. What this shows is most apples actually have the same or similar amounts of sugar. What differs is the acid content. So those Granny Smith apples have just as much sugar in them. It's just hidden by more acid. To summarize, we learned how to measure concentrations of solutions. In this case, focusing on sugar in apples. Our apples had so much sugar, their juice was reading off the scale. So we learned how to dilute the juice with water to ensure our measurements were accurate. We also learned that sugar isn't the only thing that determines how sweet an apple is. The amount of acid in the apple tells us how tart it will be. Can you think of any other fruits to test? We hope you liked today's video. Please like and subscribe to get more content like this.